Doug hates candy wrappers, screaming baby sticky seeds with 50 ads and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see. Cause Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies! Coming to you once again from the Punchline in San Francisco! Oh boy, I'm back at one of my favorite clubs in the world. This is going to be so much fun today. It's, uh, we put this together last minute, and you guys, uh, you guys showed up, so I appreciate that. <laughs> It would have been embarrassing if nobody came here today. <laughs> also, it was real nice for a second, but then I always forget that that's, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be real nice here for a second, and then uh, you know, go back to whatever's next. So when you guys leave here, I'll just tell you right now, it's, it's a storm outside. <laughs> you can't hear the rain because this is a really thick roof. Did I mention it's 420-ish? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, since we did this so last minute, did you guys have uh, time to put together some uh, name tag situations? Yeah. Oh yes, you did. I see. Wow, that's a really big my face right there. What does it say on it at the bottom? License to bill. License to bill. <laughs> And who was on the who was the star of License to Kill? Is am I is my face over Sidney Poitier's face? Uh, Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton. Oh, it was James Bond movie. <laughs> I was thinking of another movie. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we got en enough to, to to choose from. So that's good. You guys, uh, you got it together. What's that? Some sort of Space Jam shit over there? Breaking two. Oh, Breaking two, Electric Boogaloo. Electric You're <laughs> Electric Ryan Alu? You know what? You got the seat you deserve. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Doug Plugs, Doug Loves Movies is coming to Nashville one week from today at Zany's at 420. Uh, that's Saturday, April 13th. Then I'm going to be doing stand-up at the Star Dome in Hoover, Alabama on Sunday, April 14th. Stand-up live in Huntsville on Monday, April 15th. And I'll be at the Royal Oak Music Theater in Royal Oak, Michigan on Friday, April 19th. And the Wilbur Theater in Boston on April 20th. Yeah. For all of my road dates and deets, go to douglovesmovies.com. Yes, douglovesmovies.com. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Someone threw in a wallet at the end of uh, at the end of that a reference to Martin Sheen in uh, in Wall Street. They should have called that movie Wallet Street because of how he says that. Wallet. Um, what was I going to say next? Oh, the wait for another Douglas Movies taping is going to be uh, a little while. Uh, the next one's going to be April 23rd in Los Angeles, so a new episode will be out on the 24th. So in the meantime, be sure to try my other podcast, Dining with D&K, Getting Doug with High, and uh, Doug Loves Minis, if you haven't, you know, already. From the Corrections Department... I've been friends with him for years, and he's such a nice guy that he doesn't correct me when I say his name wrong, but it's not Desmond Borges, it's Desmond Borges. You don't, you don't lay into the G like I did every time in front of him. So, uh, <laughs> a dugout and apologies to him. And uh, uh, did you guys see the season fin series finale of uh, You're the Worst? It was, yeah, they did, they did a nice job with it. Uh, prize bag got lots of stuff in this little bag here I, I did a couple shows in the last week or so in uh, Las Vegas and Los Angeles so you get the magazines from each of those 
uh, Doug Loves Movies t-shirt. A, uh, this is a fun little pouch from High Times. I, here's how I use it. You got a pipe that's like, you know, little, but it's like stinky. You don't have time to clean it out. Just put it in there, zip that shut. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's some rolling papers from, uh, from Tyson Ranch. <laughs> yeah, it's Mike Tyson, I think. And then, um, yeah, he's into weed now. Some sort of uh, weed mints. I don't know what's going on there. Um, ooh, this is a nice grinder. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I brought so much weed stuff. <laughs> I visited Mo Greens today, so there's a sticker from Mo Greens. That place is awesome. And... Um, also, a from rockinpins.com, a, a little Doug Benson pin is going in the bag. And then, thanks to rockinpins.com, you can, if you're not here today, you can buy one on the internet on their website. Or, if you're here, you can purchase one for $10 on your way out. Proceeds go to me <laughs> and, and Rockin' Pins. And, um,. I'll stand there and, you know, take pictures and sign stuff, too. And that's all for free, if you, even if you don't buy a $10 pin. Cash only, no change will be made. <laughs> so if you got a 20, you're buying two pins. <laughs> Just know that about yourself. <laughs> and please help me in welcoming three terrific guests. San Francisco is always a great place to do this show because... There's always great comedians who live here and visit here and work here because it's one of the most funny, fun cities to work in. Please give a big warm welcome to Beth Stelling, Chad Opitz, and Jim Norton. Hey. Hey, you guys. Hi, Doug. <laughs> All right. Let's. It's a little. Some mints. Some I dropped mints. those mints. Do you need them? I don't need them. Okay. I mean, unless you're some... telling me I do. I'm going down here. Is this your way of saying I need some mints? No, your breath. But I they're can't probably mints it. that taste and smell like marijuana. Probably. <laughs> oh, I thought you were picking them up for me. But you were doing no, other I'm... stuff. <laughs> It was a limited you were time doing that other I was down there. there. Yeah, it was a limited time that I was down there. Uh, let's meet my guests individually, starting with uh, headlining here at the Punchline this weekend. And it's her first time on uh, this show. She's been on my other podcast, but it's Beth Stelling, everybody. Hey. How's it going? You having fun? I have been having having fun. It's nice to perform here, right? Yeah, this I was like, cool why do club? two shows in one night when I can do three? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you want this isn't as stressful, or not that comedy yeah. is stressful, but, you know, there's no press. You're just yeah. hanging out. Yeah. We're going to do some, you know, movie trivia games. You're going to play for somebody uh, in the audience that you mm. get to pick. Cool. Do you think you'll be good at movie trivia? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she comes over to grab your sign. Make sure to, you know, think Hold twice on. about letting her... Yeah, yeah, struggle with it. No, not you, not you. Save yourself for Jim or Opus. Chad. Oh, you call him Opitz? Yeah. yeah is that Irish? German. Opitz? <laughs> oh, there's not, a, there's, not a, <laughs> there's not an apostrophe in there. Oh, Pitts. Oh, Pitts. <laughs> there he is, everybody. It's Chad Opitz. <laughs> San, Fr San Francisco comedy phenom. <laughs> I had a, a buddy who was giving me shit about that. He was like, Every what? time Doug introduces you, he says, Phenom. Who says Phenom? Doug Benson does. Yeah, dude. About Chad Opitz. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no other way to describe you. I mean, Thank why you. are you successful? It's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but thank you for, for being back. And, uh, Thanks for having me. Anything else going on that we need to know about in the world of Chad Opitz? Mm. I'm very sweaty. Do you, um... You wear it well. I should, uh, <laughs> let the audience know before anyone decided to hug me after the show. Yeah, so it would be too much to ask for you to do a tuck and roll? <laughs> right now? Today. Well, it doesn't have to be right now, just at some point. Like, oh, if you win a oh, game, sure, go sure, sure. do a lap and do a tuck and roll All back right. onto the stage. I'll do it. Is You're going to have to make room over there, though. It'll be very exciting. Yeah, yeah watch out for him. Yeah. Chad Opitz is coming. Get, get the hell out of the way. Oh. 
Is yeah. that what you're scary. known for? The tuck and roll? I get, uh, yeah. I oh. do a, a little somersault action. Okay. Yeah, you're going to love it. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> he made me do it three. You made me do it three times. Jim's going to. I do make. I make him do it. Jim's going to lose his mind over there. Yeah. I hope it doesn't step on my jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jim Norton, everybody. <laughs> Coming in from the East Coast. Performing at Cobb's. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, dude. Thanks, Doug, for having me. I know you have a lot of activities you like to do during the day when you're out on the road. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tenderloin. Yeah. Uh. yeah, he likes a good steak. Then what do you do? <laughs> uh, what's, uh, you're over at the punch, uh, <laughs> we're at the yeah. punchline. You're at Cobb's. Yeah. How do you, do you feel competitive with Beth this weekend? No, not at all. I'm just, <laughs> I mean, apparently, according to a legend, the cops has an upstairs, but I've never seen people in it. <laughs> <laughs> Joke about how I don't sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> It's very cold up in that balcony. It's not a good place to sit. Yeah, it's a great place to put your, uh, your recorder, though, if you want to catch your set. No one's going to steal it. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. All right. Let's get, it. Let's get into this, you guys. We've got to talk about the uh, prize bag, because uh, somebody here today is going to go home with a bunch of stuff that we don't want anymore. <laughs> Beth, do you want to go first? Yes. So it's what like did you sort bring? of a... And as long as you're down there, can you get those mints? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> you bet. And there's a sticker. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping everything. Thank yeah, you so you're much. You're welcome. Okay, I've got um, some magnets. Um, that's it. Uh, <laughs> just what I, what I had left. Oh, they come with this bag. The small bag. Oh, okay. That can be used. Yeah. So it's um, it's my tour magnet for your fridge, after you've missed my shows uh, here in San Francisco. And then this is me and my mom's podcast. Really gonna love jerking off to these. <laughs> huh? What's your mom's podcast called? It's called We Called Your Mom. And, and it, that's what happens. You guys call me and my mom, mom call other comedians moms. It has nothing to do with the comics. So we call, we talked to Marilyn Bamford, uh, Sandy Rogan, uh, Sam Richardson's mom, Baron Vaughn's mom, Charlotte, Will Forte's mom. You got Charlotte Vaughn on the phone? We fucking got Charlotte on the phone. How did you? (laughs) She's in Vegas. She took the day off. It was fun. She's wild. That sounds great. Yeah. All right. It's a delight. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah. Little golf applause over there. Yeah. Chad? Yeah. What do you got? Oh, let well, see here. See, look at this. Pat. I got... Oh, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, some bro. cheddar cheese popcorn. So you did the right Orville thing. Orville Redenbacher. You don't need that. Your stuff doesn't have needless calories in it. <laughs> yeah. Abuelita Mexican hot chocolate. Wow. That goes perfectly. Goes in yeah. hot, comes out hot. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Call your abway. We called your abway, Lita. That goes great with a VHS copy of "Don't Be a Menace" to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Great classic title. Yeah, the title is so long. When it's over saying it, there's another Wayne's Child born. <laughs> and I think, oh wait, there's another. And stuff. then, do they get to keep the bag? Or oh yeah, there's a 15 cent value from Grocery Outlet, and there's some Popeyes coupons. <laughs> Because I don't live anywhere near a Popeyes, and I can't use them. What a bonus! So there you go. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Beth's got to do something with her hair, you guys. Thank you. Clip it. Clip it back. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jim, what'd you bring? It's pretty thoughtless. <laughs> um, I like it already. It's a great gift for any drug addict. Uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. Twix minis. <laughs> A and they get all of this. Juicy fruit. Oh. And one person's going to win all these calories. And a bag of cavities. Uh, peanut m and M's <laughs> And uh, $40 to uh, Chipotle. No! Whoa, $40! Jim! How's that thoughtless? Wow! 
<laughs> hey, this isn't gonna be some Mark Norman shit where it turns out it's got nothing on it, that card. <laughs> did that happen? Hey, yeah, that's what Mark Norman did. He like he gave away a card and said, it's got twenty dollars on it. That's the money. <laughs> get your twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. It's all yours, sister. That's such a mark. And then <laughs> nothing. Oh my god. I never heard back from the person because I would love that they tried to spend it, you know. And, <laughs> Oh, Norman. <laughs> all right, yeah. So one person's gonna win all this stuff, Beth, and okay. uh, we're gonna we'll get to that in a second. But first, I got a question I ask all the panelists. We'll okay. start with Chad because uh, he's he he knows this question the most. He's the most prepared. <laughs> Chad, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, I watched. I like to look for like older, obscure stuff a lot, and I watched this '80s action flick called Avenging Force. On Demand, like starring was, Michael Dudikoff, the American ninja. Was Force Avenged? It was. Holy Lord, was it avenged. Any movie that starts with like a fist fight in a swamp, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> For 90 minutes, I'm in. It was great. It sounds like a s- slow beginning. It's fun. It was. S- swamp punching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you recommend it? I do, yeah. All right. If you like 80s action stuff. Have you ever seen Jim Cotta? Yeah. I like Jim Cotta. <laughs> Combines the acrobatics of gymnastics with the deadly art of karate. Jim Cotta. It's a good one. I think the 80s, was, uh, film-wise, was kind of a backlash against how amazing the 70s were. Yeah. <laughs> they were just sort of like, we got to change the course of yeah. this shit because, you know, for centuries, people need to keep seeing garbage. <laughs> and things got way too yeah. good in the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Thank God they fixed that. Yeah. <laughs> More fights in swamps. <laughs> Any decade, there's some classics, but I think uh, I think Raging Bull was 80, mm-hmm. and so that was probably the last great movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Norton, your thoughts? Now, does it have to be a movie that I haven't seen before? No, I was watching it could be something you revisited. American Gangster today. Yeah. yeah? yeah. I was watching. You're that. a fan of that. I am, yeah. I enjoy that a lot. When he shoots Idris Elba in the head in the middle of the street. Oh, I forgot to tell you, no spoilers. <laughs> and the last thing I saw that wasn't a revisit was I saw Us uh, in the theater, but I didn't get it. I, didn't, I, I saw it at a theater in Montreal. and it, it was, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's that weird scene. Uh, where they're dancing and uh, 10 minutes before the end and the theater lost power. Oh, the whole building lost power so I've not seen the end of that. No. And they said you can come back and watch it again but I don't want to watch a movie that I didn't understand again to see 10 minutes that I missed. It might make more sense to you the second time around. Yeah, it might. I mean, it was original. I, I, he's a very unique guy, but I just I, I didn't know what he was trying to tell me. It's got a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of little little nods to other movies and stuff. That's cool. I didn't notice any of them. <laughs> I am horrible at spotting Easter eggs. If you say that's an Easter egg, I'll go to what? I'm very bad at that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's there. You go. There's. You should, Jim. You should maybe start a movie review thing where you, where the power goes out before the movie ends. And then your review is just whether or not you would bother (laughs) to watch the whole thing again just to find out the ending. (laughs) It's a good good scale on which to judge things because there's there's too many movies. There's too much stuff to choose from. So if we had somebody like you out there. Was it scary? No. I mean, there was a couple of creepy moments when the family first shows up outside. Like, that was really creepy. But then, no. I mean, I'm going to see Pet Cemetery next week. I just wanted to throw in. With an S? Pet Cemetery with an S. Was it always with an S? I think so, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the, yeah, the, even the Stephen Stonewall. King book, because the idea is like it's like a kid drew the, you know, sign. Ah. Uh, yes. Cemetery. And until I you just said that, I didn't movies. realize it was spelled wrong. <laughs> 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 I went and saw it, and I was, I thought that we were going to watch a movie about a pet seminary, and I was very disappointed. I wanted something peaceful and mindful. No religious pets. Uh, all right, what about you, Beth? Do you have a latest movie that you've seen? The last movie before I left for here, I watched was Legally Blonde. How my boyfriend watch that? It. <laughs> We just turned on Netflix and then my boyfriend pressed play. And then I was taken back. 
um, in time to a more problematic era. Uh, and honestly, by the end, I was fist pumping. It was freaking great. It was Wait. a delight. Okay, so we were talking Legally Blonde 1? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. No. <laughs> Which is what I think it's called. Uh, it's, it's not as stirring. It's not, no. It's not as moving. So you, you, you did the right thing. Did your boyfriend throw on the thing you'd least expect a boyfriend to throw on often? Or was that this was a special a occasion? Ball. That yeah. was a curveball. Because usually he makes you watch like Con Air or something. Sure, right? sure. <laughs> American Idol. American Idol? He's an American we Idol We just fan? started watching it. I've never watched it in my life. It really pulled me in. I don't know why. A lot of, a lot of redheads. A lot of redheads on there. That's it's what true. you're looking for in yes. a reality competition Typically show? Typically what I look for in a TV show in general is redheads. All right. Do you guys have, anyone can answer this question, um, a favorite movie uh, that's set in San Francisco, like filmed here or set here? I'm, not, I'm sorry, I, did it sound like I was asking the audience to just start yelling them out? You did say anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I did say anyone, that's true. Uh, <laughs> what were, what were hey, the Dirty they, Harrys. Which ones did they say? A few hey, Dirty, Dirty Harrys? Harrys yeah. yeah, that made my day. What about... Um, Wait, that's from the movie. It is! Yeah. Jim, get, Jim gets a point. <laughs> um, would you, but the panel, I meant. <laughs> I thought you meant the audience, too, in all honesty. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if at the end of the show, do you guys have any plugs? Oh, he said, do you guys, so let's all yell out. <laughs> let's all yell out what's going on in our lives. <laughs> it's got a new dog. It's almost house trained. <laughs> um... <laughs> What was the question? Oh, San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Do you have, Beth, do you have a favorite San Francisco movie? Because so many movies are filmed here, and you always know it's San Francisco because they get a shot of the uh, Pyramid Building, and, they, uh, all, and also all the, obviously, the all ding, the hills. Wasn't the ding of a trolley monumental in solving, like, Pelican Brief or something? <gasps> That might be true. There's something going on One there. One time somebody heard the ding? Yeah, there's some movie where, like, they heard the ding. Uh, and then it solved the whole that thing. That classic moment. There was another movie where they heard the water boiling and they knew it was time for rice and ronin. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, there was a great movie from San Francisco, uh, The Bridge. Oh, yeah, that's oh. good. Document. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're into comedies, <laughs> yeah, it's oh. worth checking out. Oh, I thought it was about dental work. <laughs> I'm being cute. <laughs> adorable. <laughs> and then you made that cute face. The adorable suicide humor of Jim Norton. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that movie's heavy. How many, like, what's the per annum? Like, uh, dozens? Hundred? Fifty-ish a year? A year, yeah. Go across that bridge. We can get it higher. The traffic is so bad <laughs> that only 50 people get across the Golden Gate Bridge <laughs> each year. Most get out and jump. Okay, you guys, this is getting, it's getting way heavier. Can you pull us out of this, Chad? What's your San Francisco movie? I heard someone say, so I married an axe murderer. That's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah. That's better. That's cheerier That's subject, axe murderers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did that take place in San Francisco? Is there any reason for it? No, I don't think so. No. Is it easier to murder downhill? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I have no idea. <laughs> Just raise the axe at the top of California and <laughs> put it into somebody. Um, mine is, thanks for asking. <laughs> What's yours, Doug? There's so many to choose from, Beth, but seriously, you're really putting me on the spot here. Um, I gotta say, I don't know how it holds up now. It might be pretty lame, but I was always really into the movie Foul Play. Oh, with yeah. Chevy Chase and Goldie Hawn. Has a big, uh, 
probably races today chasing <laughs> at the end because they jump into a car and there's a, like an old Asian couple in the back seat and everything they say is just you know broken English and therefore hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know, anytime there's you know a bullet, what's up, Doc? Anytime there's a chase scene in San Francisco, you're in for a treat. The Rock, because because the movies, the the cars just get airborne constantly oh. <laughs> because of the hills. It's such a great place for for chase scenes. Escape from Alcatraz was a great one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. I made that swim a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's there. For, you can just do it. So why not? <laughs> All right, well, that was a fun uh, San Francisco roundup. Mm. What were you going to say? Uh, I was just going to say, remember in the beginning of Escape from Alcatraz, how amazing Clint Eastwood's ass looked? <laughs> <laughs> when he first gets there? I don't remember the that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how bad it looked at the end. <laughs> oh, just used. <laughs> Talking to a chair, he was bent over a chair. Oh man! <laughs> All right, well that was fun, but this is gonna be funner, maybe. Uh, this is the part where I say, "Let the games begin!" Oh wow! All right, Ben. You. That's me out there. Uh, Beth, this is what's going to happen. Maybe, did anybody put Beth on their name tag? No. Uh, people like to guess who's going to be here sometimes. But uh, folks made these signs. Not a lot, because I just booked this show a week ago, so I appreciate anybody uh, getting it together. Some people are just holding up random objects. But uh, also some people tape uh, things to their... Uh, did anybody tape a joint or some booze to their, oh, to their that's sign? smart. Whoa, yeah. they yeah. went hard. Yeah, Except people do that. So, so you get to pick anyone you want. Anything that's taped to it, you get to keep. And uh, that'll be the person that you play for. There's a whole box of Dunkin' Donuts over there. Whoa. Yeah, good for that guy. Uh, so Chad and Jim and Beth, just uh, go ahead and stand up and uh, like, go like grab the one you want to play you for. You don't want me. Yeah, well, you may not win for them, but they're going to win for you right now because you'll get some weed or something. I'll or, take the one in the back. Whoever's got a light up oh, there. Oh, that, yeah. That, yeah, that guy. I told him that he didn't have a chance in hell of getting picked. And Jim went right for it. Bring it on up here. Thanks, fella. I thought it had something to do with Space Jam, but it's not at all. It's no, I just figured he was so dedicated, shining yeah. a light on it. I yeah, no, it's, it's, I think he got a good one. Beth's working out some sort of deal. Chad, where are you at? What's Chad doing? Oh, he's way back there, walking around. Wow, this is great. <laughs> all right. What? Oh, this guy's just putting donuts on the stage. Say milk money. I'll chuck them at people. Hopefully the punchline won't get mad at me. Yeah, those are just gifted to me because they didn't get picked. Look at all the candy on yours. That's for Dick. That is crazy how much candy's on that poster. Wait, Stephanie? Stacy. Oh, and there's weed on it too? There's one. It's just candy. Just candy. There's a weed one over there. Are you gonna? Do you want to trade? No. <laughs> you did get a good one. I got a really good Check one. Check out those milk money donuts. Tell us about those. Oh, we've candy. got um, one that has potato chips on it. Oh, oh that's for Jim. Um, one has uh, looks like sliced almonds and chocolate and maybe Could a little bit of coconut. Can you pass me one of them? Oh. Yeah. Just Which? What do you feel? Nuts or I chips? I don't care. I'm not gonna eat it. Oh. I'm gonna chunk it. No. No! Are you really gonna throw it? Well, someone's gonna catch oh, yeah. it. He tosses it. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Did you get it? Yeah, he caught it. I bet all the chips came off. There was no doubt you were gonna catch that. <laughs> you did not let one chip fall to the floor. <laughs> well, I don't know what's on top of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just lick a little off and put it back in the box. I just touched it. 
Do you need a towel? No. Maybe you. Or a napkin. Maybe a napkin. There might, there's a gentleman in the front row. He's just eating popcorn. He doesn't need his napkin. It's paper. I'll oh. use my pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are you playing for, Jim? I'm playing for, uh, I guess, Ryan. Uh, it's break into electric Ryan Alou. <laughs> Yay. Soundtrack to a, a real, fine film. It's a real underdog story. I did not think that was a winning okay. name tag, but it got picked. Yeah. Is this a bad place for mine? No, it's perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Chad? Uh, I got Rambo First Blood Part 2. Rambo, B-E-A-U, as in Bo Bridges. Wow. And it's got Doug's face on it. Yeah, they do that. There's no weed or candy, but I thought it was an artistic triumph. Oh. Hey, can you pass me one of those donuts? Yeah. That looks good. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should give you one that's not going to lose all the stuff when you chuck it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it to an area where four guys had their hands up. I figured... I figured somebody's gonna end up with it. <laughs> what kind is that, Beth? I got my eye on you guys over there. I think it's like. Yeah. But I just feel like a sugar. There's some tough spots to get it to. Ooh. Like oh. a lot of sugar. Oh, good. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beth gives uh, milk money donuts a big yeah. thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Beth loves donuts. I do. And the person you're playing for, Beth, is... Uh, Stacy. Stacy. And what's the... The legend of Stacy Jean. Oh, instead of Billy Jean. Let's look at it one more time, though. Yeah, let's take a good look. Here we are. <laughs> show it to everybody. Yeah. Now show everybody it to the listeners it? at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. We all got a good look at it. It's got a lot of candy on it. I get, yeah. I get why you picked it. Mm -hmm. And what's that? Is there a box of candy cigarettes or it something? It looks like raisins. And I've what? Got... Hey, what are raisins doing on there? The fuck? Yeah. Who included raisins? Oh, Honest... my God. Honestly, I regret on it. On Halloween, man. I get raisins. That house gets raisined. Yeah. I fucking throw them right up on the roof. Who what brought... flavor donut is that? And why do you have to keep going back down there? Just bring the whole donut back. <laughs> I do. I have to lay on the stage later. It's part of my act. <laughs> and so I didn't want to get it dirty. Good, good call. Thank you. All right, so we're going to play some games to determine which audience member goes home with all this stuff. Anybody can win, mm, but it helps good. to be good at stuff. Good at guessing or whatever. Uh, this first game we're going to play, kind of new, kind of a twist on a game we've been playing. This is called Doug Loves Music. I'm going to say the, the track titles on the album for a motion picture soundtrack. <laughs> what do you mean it's ridiculous? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. It's the greatest idea ever. <laughs> and you can guess, everyone on, just the people on stage you can guess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> can guess as often as they like uh, until somebody gets it. I'm just going to name. And I got some clues at the end, you know, if you, if you don't get it based on uh, all the tracks. But theoretically, the tracks should be describing, uh, you know, what's happening in the movie okay. at that time, right? That's how they work, I think. If it's Randy Newman, I'll know. Ooh. Oh, me too. Yeah. It's the only oh, okay. one I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. And be careful about leaning back on this thing right. because you'll, you'll fall right through the floor house. <laughs> you'll fall right into John Stamos' living room. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, which character owned that house? I guess, I guess Saget. Danny, yeah. Saget. Wallet. Saget. All right. Um... <clears throat> The soundtrack has a part of the score called The Beach. The movie The Beach. Beaches. I wish that would be either oh, of those. Man. They're both great guesses. What a stupid game this would be. 
What if, if you were if starting either of easy? those were the right answer? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a good guess. Blue Lagoon. They are great guesses. Oh, oh that's a good guess. Yeah. That's it, you guys? That's all the, that's all, the, all the movies you can think of that have a beach? So far. What's that? So far, yeah. Okay. Here's the next one. There's also a track called The Nightmare and Dawn, which was... It, coincidentally, this is interesting. That was the original name of the group Tony Orlando and Dawn. <laughs> that joke was for the older listeners <laughs> and attendees. All right, the next one is there's a track called Love Music. Jaws? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, all of those seem to apply. Love Music. Love Music, the Woodsman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> There's one called, and it's the last one on there, but I'm doing them out of order. The Necklace and the Return. Titanic. And the Finale. Titanic, right? absolutely. How could it not be? But it isn't. <laughs> that describes the ending of Titanic. I know. <laughs> it's like a rose. Uh, What's the other guy's name? There's Jack. another one called Farewell. And the tower. Doug, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what are these? <laughs> this is tricky, but this one might this might ring some bells. You might you might recognize these names. There's one called Madeline and Carlotta's Portrait. The Princess Bride. No. <laughs> Willow. You said it with such confidence oh, yeah. that I thought, wow. Carlotta. You might be right. Carlotto's Way. <laughs> Thought of that. Nell. <laughs> Are you answering the what was the last movie you saw question? <laughs> uh, all right. Time for clues. That wasn't enough to give it away. This movie was filmed partially in and took place in partially Maybe completely. San Francisco. Here, I didn't know any before. Uh, the Presidio? Oh, um, the French Connection. <laughs> the score. Metro starring it. Hey, yeah, why is, Milk. Why does the French Connection no, not yeah. take place in France? <laughs> the score was by the great Bernard Herrmann. Oh. Oh, uh... <laughs> Uh, sudden vertigo. <laughs> Chad is right. It's vertigo. Oh. Yeah, the other clues were directed by Alfred Hitchcock and makes me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> vertigo from 1958. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe that might have come up during the uh, favorite movies in San Francisco conversation, which would have been made even funnier when you all didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> during all those songs. All right, not songs, but you know what I mean. Let's play How Long Is It? You're not gonna believe this game, Beth. It is, it is crazy in its simplicity. Hey, where's the Dunkin' Donuts guy? Do you, wanna, do you want me to throw yours too? Yeah, bring him on up. Oh, baby. I think those are going to be less messy because yeah, they're maybe. not real you still got icing or, you know, jelly in the middle or, or what have you. Oh, I didn't know you were so locked in back there. <laughs> sorry, so to, to be fair, sorry to make you do that. Donuts, so. <laughs> There's no donuts in that. There we go. Yay! Uh, <laughs> okay, so as he's walking up here with this box, Yay. he said, you left a bunch of donuts with some fat people. I did not leave them with you. <laughs> BYOD? But there's only three left. <laughs> Good work. Fuck yeah. I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. Who likes a powdered donut over in that side over there? It's powdered, so you're, be careful what you wish for. Oh! Oh! Wait, did that... All right, I'm gonna try again, dude. This is a maple one with I don't know what in the middle. Oh, he got it! Yeah. He got it! 
Is it still a home run when that happens? He got one bite. <laughs> All right. I'm Coming over there next. Oh, I really feel like a baseball player. <laughs> Pointing where it's going to go. All right. Um, this next game, Beth, is a game where each of you gets to have one guess. At an, uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to name a thing, and you guys are going to guess how long it is. And whoever's closest <laughs> without going over, uh, Price is Right style, is the winner of this game. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Do we buzz in or? No, no. Okay. I'll go to you individually. We'll go okay. Chad first, and then you, and then and then Jim. But Jim, you know, he's a crafty player. He might say whatever number you said, and then just add a one to it. Oh shit! I saw somebody do that on Price Is Right the other day. I, I don't know why when that happens, because the guy won after you know, bidding one more dollar than the person next to him. I don't know why a fist fight doesn't break out. Yeah. It's a fucked up move. The price has to have change in it for that person to have a chance. Hundred dollars, hundred one dollars. Okay, I just hope it's a hot air dollars and 28 cents. <laughs> okay. Um, how long... You know that movie, those Toy Story movies? How long is the Woody doll, how tall, in inches, is the Woody doll from the Toy Story movies? If you go on the internet, Pixar claims that it's a specific height. And of course, Woody, Jim, and this is with the hat. This is Woody <laughs> with the hat. With the hat. All right. What do you think, Chad? How tall do you think he is? I'll go 16 inches. I'm going to go... Can I Wait, go? Wait, slow down. Oh. I'm still trying to handle that 16 inches. <laughs> I was actually stalling until this guy came back. <laughs> So this is how, how long is it? And it's how, how tall is Woody the sheriff? Um, he's, he's sheriff, right? I'm gonna go. <laughs> I love when celebrities come to my shows. Woody Woodpecker's here. See, he knows how to do it and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go 16.1. Oh! I'm, I'm kidding. Wait, for real though. Can I? I, 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 oh! I actually want to do 14. My real answer is 14 oh. inches. All right. You could, you know. Sorry to disappoint you and take you on that roller coaster, but. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. I wanted to be 14. Okay. I believe in 14. Jim. I actually know the answer to this because I worked for Pixar when they did these movies. <gasps> it's 11 inches. This isn't like one of those games where you're supposed to convince us you're right. <laughs> <laughs> when you're lying. <laughs> but that was believable. All right, so what did you settle on? 14? 14. And Chad's going 16. 16 and 11. Jim's saying 11 because he worked there. Yep. You should have accused yourself. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna know the exact answer like that, but uh, the correct number, and I would like to see a celebratory lap around the room after I say it. Oh no, I take it back. It's Beth. It's. <laughs> it, <laughs> oh my God, it is 15. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's just shy of 16 inches. It's 15.93 inches. Does that make it you the winner? So that is without going, you can't go over. Uh -huh. So 14 oh. is the closest. Oh. Okay. But you don't have to do a... Stacey. You don't have to do a victory lap, Beth. But I would like you, this has got uh, like pink frosting and sprinkles and I don't know what in the middle. But okay. who would you, could you throw that at someone? Yeah. 
Yeah. Who does somebody really want it? Who? Yeah. There's some people who really, really want, want it. it. Yeah, really want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throw it overhand if you Unless can. Somebody else really wants it. <laughs> Do you need it? <laughs> this guy does not want you to blast his face with it. I'm quoting. <laughs> Oh, that was very gentle. Very kind. I'm a gentle lover. No, no, no blasting. But Chad, you did win the first game, and I forgot to do it then. Do you, now do your victory lap. Oh my God! Chad, we're gonna have to move here this goes, stuff. everybody. Chad, Chad, Chad opens. You don't have to move that stuff. Just roll over it. Who cares? Here he comes. This is the amazing Chad Opitz. Oh, I like it. He's walking very casually. There he goes. Oh! That was close. Yeah, Beth did not see that coming. That was really... We really lucked out that there that I didn't been, get kicked in the head. That could have been tragic. What happened was I was really concerned for the donuts, and so I was moving them out of the way. Is there any left in that box? Yeah, I've been working on that one. <laughs> it's still in there? I have plans for it. All right. I know, it would have been so sad. <laughs> Let's Sorry, decide. Let's put us in danger like that. What's the matter? He feels yeah. bad. He almost kicked me in the head. Wow, well, don't feel bad about that, Chad. <laughs> yeah. I almost kicked her in the head. It's my fault. The doll was, that, was 11 inches tall. Is that too dark? <laughs> <laughs> the doll was 11 what? It's 11 inches tall. I mean. I really like a Reese's egg. So I'm gonna have one of those. Yeah. What's this Russell Stover dark chocolate and marshmallow egg? That's, yeah. That's those... a, that sounds okay. No! What? Duh. Did I step on it? Yes. I put my foot on it, but I didn't mean to step on it. <laughs> and I. Why didn't you do that to the raisins? <laughs> What's it going to do to a raisin if you step on it? <laughs> oh, these raisins aren't as full as I like my raisins. Can somebody step on these shits? You're going to throw God another one? Raisins. That last one is really sugary. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the bigger the mess, the better. Oh, there's two left. There's a chips one in it. Here, take your, finish oh. your one. Okay. And what flavor is that? This is like just a lot of sugar. It's just it's a lot of sugar, sugar donor. sugar on glazed sugar and sh sugar. All right. Well, we're going over to the side section. Oh. I hope we have a vacuum. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, did, did you not try to dodge I it? I think I grazed the ceiling a little bit there on that one. <laughs> It's really, that's a tight target, but I'm going to try that guy again. <laughs> Watch out. Are you? Why are you acting like you're not ready? <laughs> Let me see your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, right there. Well, we What a nightmare. <laughs> Bring me more donuts. <laughs> the donut king. Did he throw it too hard? It looked like it was a hard throw. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you're better off just batting it down and then throwing it to the second baseman, you know, if you think you're gonna, you don't want it to roll past you. All right. <laughs> you don't want it going over your head. Let's play Bennington, you guys. We haven't played this game in a while. This is um, our friend Ron Bennington came up with this game, and uh, yeah, that's and the the clapping was on a delay because it's you know he's on the East Coast. <laughs> uh, this is a game about uh, box office numbers. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's basically popular movies are the uh, answers. I'll say. And who won that? Who ended up winning that last thing? It was me. <laughs> Beth, congratulations. Thank you. Beth, so you get to go first in this next game. Okay. And uh, each person will get a chance to go first. We get three rounds. 
I'll say the name of an actor or actress, and Beth, you just have to guess what movie you think finished in that person's top three of all time at the box office, according to boxofficemojo.com, after being adjusted for inflation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the inflation thing, you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. And then uh, sometimes, like Gone with the Winds, one of the, still one of the top movies of all time. Really? After being adjusted for inflation, yeah. Okay. Titanic's still one of the top movies of all time because it costs a lot of mon money to go to movies at that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rationale for it. Although if I had to choose between Titanic and Gone with the Wind, I prefer Titanic. Same. Because, you know, Gone with the Wind, the whole place they're in doesn't flip over. <laughs> Violently. Which would be a good twist. Somebody call Shyamalan! All right. I'm going to name somebody, try to guess what's in their top three. Uh, and like I said, we'll rotate. But we'll start with you, Beth. The okay. films of Diane Keaton. Okay. Whoa. What do you think's, what do you think's a big money maker for her? The uh, biggest? We've got an audience guess. Please, no audience guesses. Yeah. Well, I mean, you want number one if you can get it, but if you finish in the top three, you get points. Um, I, don't, I, I know the audience person said it, but that was you probably. Can, I, will, I will grant you to take movies. that. Yeah, something's got to give. She's going, get. something's got to give. I'll let it happen because this is, you know, it is one of the bigger. first time playing. And it is potentially the only movie I know. <laughs> Yeah, that could be another problem. All right. Um, which way were we going before? Let's go Jim. Um, my first thought was uh, the Diane Keaton Follies, but that did not do well at the box office. Uh, the Witches of Eastwick. Diane Keaton? Perhaps I'm mistaken. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking of Jack Nicholson. I mean, uh, I'll say Manhattan. Okay, he's going Manhattan. Even though Woody Allen films typically don't gross a lot of money. Right. Chad? The Godfather. Oh, that's it. I forgot she was in that. That's an interesting, interesting guess from Chad. Godfather 2. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, you had your chance. Uh, coming in at number three for Diane Keaton is, of course, The Godfather Part Two. Oh! Just, Got it. You just missed out on that. <laughs> Got it eventually. Uh, number two, this is a real squeaker, unexpected, Finding Dory. <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit right there. <laughs> But then Diane Keaton's number one is The Godfather! Wow! Chad takes the lead. I thought you three, worked for Pixar. Three points. How'd you, not, how'd you not know Finding Dory? Because we're not allowed to release internal numbers. Yeah. Oh. Like 11 inches! <laughs> All right, well, you get to, uh, you're gonna go first this time, Jim. Good. And I'll give you another actor that I think you'll lock in better on. Okay. Al Pacino. Oh. Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> One of his top three <laughs> Al Pacino. grossing films of all time. Yeah, the great Al Pacino. Oh, no. Um, I would say author, author. <laughs> Because you do like repeating yourself. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> let's go with um, The Godfather. Okay, he's going with The Godfather. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got Dumbos Someone in the audience. Someone won't stop sneezing. <laughs> or are you going to barf? He's also trying to, he's trying to hold it in, so it's very elephant-like. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of... To me, it's like <laughs> little puppies. <laughs> Little 
puppy sneezes. Go ahead and fly on out of here, Dumbo. <laughs> wow, it's a current movie reference again. Uh, who's next? What's, which way were we going? I've already gone, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chad, Chad. Um, I can't remember if this is like a huge movie or not. But, uh, I'm going to go with Heat. Okay. I get Al Pacino and Andy Garcia mixed up. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who ha doesn't? <laughs> so, was he in Scarface? Yes. All right, so, Scarface for me. Okay. Sorry, I started getting sleepy after that donut. <laughs> Wait, it's all sugar. Yeah. <laughs> it's that sleepy sugar. Uh, number three for Al Pacino. Dick Tracy. Whoa! Oh, yeah, everyone that. <laughs> what was his name of that? Big Mouth or something? Big Boy? Big Dick? <laughs> 11 deep, inches. Deep throat. <laughs> uh, coming in at number two for Al Pacino. Uh, this, might have been, this seems like it's kind of handed to everybody, but nobody took advantage of it. Uh, the Godfather Part 2. Okay, that was sad. Yeah, that and then of course, sad. Jim gets three points for The Godfather. <laughs> All right, so Jim's got three and Chad's got three and... It's great to have you here. <laughs> it's good to have you, Beth. Sorry, Stacy. Chad, you gotta go first on this one. Okay. The films of Robert De Niro. <laughs> oh. He's not, he's not in the original Godfather. I would oh, guess that one. why would you say that out loud? I don't know why I said that. Your competitors might have been confused. Yeah, that was really stupid. Damn, <laughs> I'm a fool. Um, God damn. I need an answer. Analyze this. <laughs> They're not laughing Terrible at you. Choice. They're laughing with you. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible choice. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Beth? Meet the Fockers. Interesting. Jim? I mean, the obvious answer is Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go with The Godfather, too. Oh, interesting. Why are you shaking your head? You said analyze this. <laughs> yeah. like, Chad's like, damn it, I should have said analyze that. <laughs> I did, yeah. I fucked up. Or Coming bad, in, bad grandpa. number three for De Niro is a movie called Shark Tale. <laughs> the finding, finding Dory connection. That's the monies with the kids is yeah. what we're learning. Coming in at number two. Meet the parents. Shit. Why would I say Fockers? Because I really did mean Meet the Parents, but I forgot that it was even oh, called that. Oh, man. You really I, screwed I really up. What I'm a losing, lame thing you did. Genuinely, I thought it was Meet the Parents. God damn it. I can't believe you did that. Sorry. Coming in at number one, Meet the Fockers. Oh! We got a three-way tie! What a Back game. In. This is weird. <laughs> we wow. gotta do something to settle this. Yeah, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a round of Last Man Stanton! <laughs> this is a game where we get an uh, actor or actress name and then we take turns. I like to play along for fun. We take turns naming movies they've been in. If you can't think of one, you're out. But you have a lifeline. Each of you has a lifeline. Uh, Beth, you can go to Stacy once. Chad, you can go to Rambo once. And Jim, you can go to? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Good old Ryan. Electric Ryan-a-loo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Did somebody here that showed me a name tag on Twitter that just said the name Ryan and they were asking me about the font? Is that person here today? Somebody helped, I made a sign, all it says is Ryan, and they're like, guess what font this is in? And I'm like, I don't know. I guess he's not here today. I guess I'll, I'll run into him eventually. Eventually there'll be a big old Ryan out there and I'll be like, oh, there you are. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? All right. Um, so no one reached out to me. One person reached out to me, but I forgot to write it down. Raise your hand if you reached out to me that you had a good suggestion for this game. This guy over here says he did. I believe him. Look at him. He's not yelling. He's How not, could there he's be not, three? Pick me! He's just like calmly. He looks like maybe in his other hand he's got one of those things that murders cattle. <laughs> What's your name, dude? Sherman. Sherman. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time the name Sherman made a comeback. And uh, what's your suggestion? Today's Paul Rudd's 50th birthday. Oh, today is Paul Rudd's 50th birthday. So let's do the films of old man Rudd. He looks, doesn't look like a day older than he was in Clueless. That son of a bitch. Okay, so it's the films of Paul Rudd. But here's a new wrinkle, you guys. I'm very excited to introduce this wrinkle. Do you all have your cell phones on you and charged up and ready to go? Yeah. You can all, if your lifeline is worthless, which they are sometimes, <laughs> if your lifeline here in the room can't help you, you can call a friend. What? Just one friend, so it's got to be somebody that'll fucking pick up. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't have all day to be... You know, making calls. So we can't use it to Google Paul Rudd. No, no, yeah, uh, I didn't. I wasn't trying to tell you to take out your phone now. I was just looking ahead to the future. All right. Make sure you all had the option to call somebody. <laughs> all righty. Who won that last game? I who, did. Who guessed I did. it? Jim got. Jim got it. Yep. So. <laughs> Wait. <what? laughs> what? Did I not get it? No, but Jim did win the game before that. He won the. Um, the game about uh, how tall Woody Thank is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he didn't win that. You did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Beth, you get to go first. <laughs> then we'll go to... I like to go last. We'll go to Chad and then Jim and then me, and we'll go around and see, see who can uh, go the longest on the films. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sneezing in here today. <laughs> a lot of people are allergic to trivia. <laughs> All right. We'll start with you, Beth. The films of Paul Rudd. Knocked up. Very good. Uh, Ant <laughs> Man. I don't even wait a second. Slow down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, are we sure he was in Knocked Up? Yeah. What was he in Knocked Up? He's the dad. Dad of what? Some of the kids. <laughs> Some of the kids? I'm, in, I'm convinced. Yeah. Brother-in-law? No, but not... Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, he wasn't knocked out. Yeah, and he did have kids. Yeah, we all agree now. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> okay, Chad. Ant-Man. You're going Ant-Man? Ant-Man. That's good. Jim? Clueless. Oh, yes. Nice. Get that one out of the way early. I like it. All right, I'm going to go with... Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> Beth? Our Idiot Brother. Oh, nice. I would have saved that one if I was you. That was, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. I love you, man. Oh. Hang on a second. Chad's trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> Slap in the base. <laughs> Settle down, Woody. Jim? Uh, the Avengers. What? Wait, wait, wait. Be careful. Be careful here, Jim. There's the Avengers. Of, uh -huh. There's a lot of Avengers movies. Oh, I know. Wait, I'm just letting the anticipation build. You gotta be careful here, because uh, Ant-Man was a later addition to the uh -huh. world of the Avengers. Uh-huh. So, 
You might want to switch to something else or go to your lifeline. No, it's this uh, new one. <laughs> Avengers, the new one. I mean, they might as well call them yeah. the, um, Might as well say, here's the latest. End game. You're going Avengers Endgame? Well, I better go to my lifeline. <laughs> he says 40-year-old virgin, your lifeline. That's not an Avengers yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say it. If you That's want a me very to special it. power to last that long. Uh, okay, he's going... 40-year-old virgin. Yes, yeah, that I'm is just, correct. I was kidding. Great job. <laughs> You don't agree with him? What are you kidding about? No, just with my Avengers guess. <laughs> You're still in it, Jim. I have a lot of confidence. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Who is next? Is it me? Okay. I'm going to go the object of my affection. Yeah. With J Jen A. Okay. Uh, Wanderlust. Also with Jen A. Mm hmm. Nice. They, yeah. <laughs> Role models. Chad. <laughs> Slap in the bass. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can show me a scene from I Love You Man or Role Models, and uh, they seem fairly interchangeable to me. They're both, I enjoy both of them. I guess one has Sean William Scott. All right. We're back to you, Jim. <laughs> The big short. Did anything happen? In that? <laughs> that's a fun guess. That's like, a, that's like a JFK guess. Like you're just hoping, oh, maybe he showed up in there. Might have popped in and said a few but words. But he didn't, did he? No. Do you know, <laughs> do you know it's how I kind of know that. Um, I was at the premiere of The Big Short, and I saw Paul Rudd, and I just panicked, and he said hello, and I'm like, dude, great job. <laughs> And he wasn't in the fucking movie. <laughs> I don't know a lot of Paul Rudd's work, obviously. But great job's a fun thing to say to anybody when you see them. Yeah, but not pointing at the screen. <laughs> great job. <laughs> I loved it because you're not in it. <laughs> you did a great job of not being in that one. All right, Jim. Well, thank you for... I apologize for, to Ryan. I did the best for, I could. He, Paul Rudd was a rough one for me. You know what? Ryan did the best he could as well. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a terrible pun. Do you need that album back? I would like it back. He would like it back. Sure. You, don't, you don't even get to keep oh, it, Jim. What? I don't. That's okay. I'm not gonna, I don't have a record player. You're welcome to have it back after my poor performance. <laughs> Do you want to throw it to him? No. <laughs> Ouch. All right. What do you mean you've got another lifeline? Oh, you got lifeline? lifeline? Cool. You only get one. Don't get yell it. One, dude. Yeah, but I get to make a phone call. No, if that was if he didn't help you. He helped you. Oh. He was good. <laughs> Who would you call? Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> okay, let's go. See if Ozzy Osbourne... I don't care which Paul Rudd movie it is. If he names a Paul Rudd movie, you're still in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. Where is he? What time is it where he is? Hold on. I don't expect him. He'll pick up. He will. No fucking way. Come on. Come on. He's looking at the caller ID going, no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, well, at least we tried. At least we gave Ozzy a shot. Yeah. I don't think he'd be able to name an Ozzy Osbourne movie. <laughs> what about Crazy Train Wreck? <laughs> uh, Chad? Is it Chad's turn? No, it's, no, it's my turn. turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm going with... Uh, <laughs> mm, mm, I'll say Wet Hot American Summer. It's a Paul Rudd film. Mm. <laughs> this is 40. Yes. 
Same kids he had and knocked up. Judd's <laughs> kids. Yeah. Chad. Anchorman. Uh oh, uh oh. Sets you up. You're in trouble. Full title. Oh, the Legend oh. of Ron Burgundy. Yes. Yes. That's oh, fine. Um. <laughs> oh, he's back. What are you going to say, Jim Anchorman 2? I've never seen that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah you probably also don't know the full title. Uh, more Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Anchorman 2, the Scott Peterson yeah. story. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to say forgetting Sarah Marshall. this bet or you can go to Stacy 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 what do you think Stacey? unless you unless Stacy want <clears throat> Anchorman 2 the legend continues does that sound right yeah. mm-hmm. yes that is right <laughs> way to go Stacy Chad can I go to Bo who Bo Rambo Rambo yeah if you want to you got one Rambo we got Rambo He's in Halloween, The Curse of Michael it's Myers. It's true. Holy crap. Yeah. That's like pre clueless, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Wow. There we go. All Bra- the Bra- curse Bra- of Michael Myers. Ooh. <laughs> I know esoteric Paul Rudd trivia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, holy shit! This is good. This is a real nail biter. We're getting down to it. But yeah. I'm gonna do it. I got this, you guys. I totally got this. Oh, you're not gonna believe this shit. <laughs> Avengers: Infinity War. <laughs> oh fuck! Is that the one I missed? <laughs> We well, tried to name the one that hasn't come out yet, but you know, mm. uh, we always debate whether those are l- legal. What? Oh yeah, you ever watch the little scenes at the end, or do you leave like an asshole? I don't know if he's in this one. Oh, this is exciting. Take a shot. Year one? Year one? With Michael Sarah and Jack Black and all those people? Year one. Oh, that helped me to think of one, though. So I'll let you stay in. Chad? (laughs) Your turn. Uh, Captain America Civil War. Yes. Yes. Yikes. Uh, Walk walk hard, the Dewey Cox story. Did I fuck it up? No, no, he's in it. Yeah, no, I know he's in it. I just thought I'm... When you reacted, I thought I said the title wrong. Could have been the ballad of Dewey Cox. No, no, no. But it's not. Back to you, Beth. This is exciting. Step Brothers. What? Yeah. He's in that? Jim, yeah. Jim's confirming it. He is in that. <laughs> That's a Pixar release. He knows. <laughs> I don't think he's in that one. (laughs) Chad, do you have another one? Yeah, you're confusing him with Adam Scott. (laughs) Now I know who he is, but... (laughs) Oh, you thought you could confuse me. Yeah. Do you have one more, Chad? Is he in Something's Gotta Give? Why? (laughs) Isn't that... His answer is Something's Gotta Give. Keanu Reeves, is that who you're thinking of? No, god damn it. Is he not in that? Yeah. I was going to say uh, The Shape of Things. No. Yeah. He's the Shape that? of... Not The Shape of Water. Oh, okay. The Shape of Things. <laughs> yeah, he's the faucet she masturbates under. Egg, egg timer. I'm drawing a blank on the rug. Woody Woodpecker thinks that's fucked up. But that means Chad is our winner! 
Her. Wait. How? Because he lasted the longest. By default. Well, he named one after you. What was that? Whatever one he said after you the last round. He's not in something's got to give. No, he missed. He, he, but before that, he had gotten one after you. You know what I'm saying? Did he? Halloween. You didn't have one on the end. He had said one before your last one. So he was the last one to say a correct answer. I thought we each said the same amount. It doesn't matter how many. Doug, you're mansplaining. Oh. <laughs> Finally, a feminist. Well, hang on. Let me just ex- let me explain it to Jim. <laughs> <laughs> this but is the most great. disappointing win ever. <laughs> you did great, though. But we got to pick something. Would you rather flip a coin between you and Chad? No, I'm. Do you want to do a somersault I'm... off? No. Best somersault wins. No. All right. In that case, I feel bad it. now. Don't no, feel no. don't feel bad. You won for Rambo. Yeah. Oh, I thought she had one. I, ta- I mean, I'm, I'm not. not I'm not being a sore loser. I I, I was genuinely I like, oh, one. I thought we tied again. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm fine. I love him. All right, you tied again. <laughs> I'm gonna think of another game right no, now. I think oh we shit! Won. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. All right. Let's do this. Let's play another one, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim's out, but. <laughs> I feel like then you'll feel solid about your win, you know, All right. like once I lose this. This is one. a speed round. Cool. Oh, no. Back and forth between the two of you, whoever can't think of one within, we'll say, five seconds when it's your turn. You're out. Yeah, it's good. What are you and I going to do while they're doing that, Doug? I'm going to be running the game, and you're going to be. Hanging out. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> we should each get to ask Jim one. That's fair. What does that mean? Phone a Jim. Like it's a lifeline. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. they, each get to, they each get to go to Jim once. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So let me make this something that, that Jim will be helpful. The films of Woody Allen. <laughs> All right. Go. Hannah and her sisters. Manhattan. Annie Hall. Uh, Three. Manhattan Murder two. Mystery. Oh, shit. What's it called? Five, four. Blue three, Velvet. Two. <laughs> Blue oh, Flower. Oh, Jim, Blue. you want to help her out? Take the money and run. <laughs> Chad? Bananas. <laughs> Beth? <laughs> Jim's not there Arthur. for you anymore. What'd you say? Arthur the cartoon. <laughs> Arthur. Did you mean Ants the cartoon? Arthur. I was just thinking of something. Do you mean I, Ants? Something I enjoyed. Just say Ants. Ants. Ants, Chad. Sleeper. <laughs> Beth? I don't, you guys, I don't know Woody Allen. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not a New York Jew. Were you, think, were you, trying, to, <laughs> were you trying to think of Blue, Blue Jasmine? Yeah, that's what I was trying Say to think. Say that. Blue Jasmine. Chad. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, that point... Point fucking... Break. Bl- point break. break. I don't know what the hell! That tennis one! <laughs> okay, you get half a that. point. <laughs> <laughs> and that means you're half, half a point more than Pam. Yay! <laughs> Chad is our winner! <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone hates me now. It was oh, always wow. destined to be <laughs> Chad. True. Yeah, Chad has always been the one. It was yeah. fun to go ahead and have another run at it. But he won. You did great your first time on the show. That was fantastic. Yeah, let's hear it for her. And Beth, as a reward... I get to perform get here later to perform, twice? Yes. Yes, if you had not done well here today, that would have been the end of the road <laughs> for you at the punchline. But you got two more shows tonight. Who's coming back to see Beth tonight? 7.30, Listen to all these people are coming back to see you. Stacy. Yeah. Yes, Stacy, come on back. <laughs> you got plenty of snacks. <laughs> and uh, what would you like to plug uh, coming up? What's going on? Ooh. You got any more road dates? You want to plug your Twitter, your Instagram? Just, yeah, you can just find me online at Beth Stelling. S-T-E-L-L-I-N-G. That's right. Beth Stelling, everybody. <laughs> 
Chad O apostrophe Pitts. Yeah. What's going on with you, buddy? Uh, I'm hosting at the Sacramento Punchline the 18th through the 20th for Melissa Via Senior. Cool. And oh, neat. I think this is cool. Uh, Cobb's May, June, and July. I think every second Tuesday, I'm hosting a Cooking with John Carpenter film series. <laughs> What? We're showing Big Trouble in Little China with uh, like themed food and stuff like that. Wow. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And they live in, the, in June, and July is going to be Escape from New York. Cool. Oh. Yeah. So that one's going to be all like deli food. There's like a pork chop express sandwich. <laughs> and uh, I think there's a gr- uh, girl with green ice cream. Ooh. I do, I do um, uh, plus skinless chicken. Oh, Lord. Pliskinless chicken. Yeah, yeah. Snake Pliskin. Yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> All right. Or snake. Just serve snake. Yeah, yeah. That's another way to go. Well, thank you, Chad Opitz, everybody. Thank you. And Jim Norton sticking around all this extra time. He's got to get back over to Cobbs or wherever you go before you go to Cobbs. And uh, what else? Uh, can, where can people look for you? Besides... Jim and Sam on uh, Sirius, Sirius XM mo- uh, weekday mornings. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hosting a podcast with Paul Rudd. <laughs> cool. It's called This Isn't 40. Yeah. <laughs> called I've Never Seen You in a Movie. Uh, no, I just, uh, you know, my website for tour dates. I have a you know, bunch of dates coming up. Really nothing to plug. And go see him tonight over at Cobbs if you're not coming to see I mean, that. If, if you can get tickets. Or double it you up. You can. Yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> see, see, early show of Beth, late show Jim, or switch it up. However you, what, you guys do whatever you want. I prefer my late show. So if you want to come see me on the late show, I prefer that. Okay. <laughs> he likes the challenge. And uh, I wrote some, down something that I wanted to say in my uh, plugs part here. Let's see what it was. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just a reminder, there's no more Doug Loves movies until UCB Franklin in Los Angeles on April 23rd. So have a good mid-April, everybody. One more time for all of my guests, Jim Norton, Chad Opitz, Beth Stelling. Thank you to The Punchline. Thank you to San Francisco. Thank you to Silicon Valley. Thank you to all the great shows on HBO. Thank you. And get that theme music ready, as always, positive energy!